Today I'm going to show you how to do CPU Bitcoin mining. Uh, it's not as fast as it would be with your GPU, your video card, but in a lot of cases people don't have a video card and they just want to mine with their, just their processor. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, this is assuming that you already have a Bitcoin client installed. I use Bitcoin QT. You can find that on the internet anywhere, but you just need a address to receive the Bitcoins at. Uh, and then <coughs> once you have the... Uh, the Bitcoin client set up, then uh, you're going to want to also set up an account with some sort of a pooled miner. I use Slush, um, which I'll show you here. Uh, if you go to google.com and just type in Slush, then it should be one of the, just the very first uh, options. You could also type in Slush Mining Pool, and it's going to be this mining.bitcoin.cz. If you click on that one, uh, it has a description right here of how you'll need to sign up. Uh, you can just sign up, like it takes two minutes to sign up, and then all you have to do is uh, put in your receiving address later, and then uh, it gives you some information at the bottom that I'll, I'll show you what it means, and that's how you'll set up your miner. So I would recommend signing up for this, and or any client really, and they'll basically give you the same idea, but I'm going to show you how to do it with slush mining pool. Uh, and a mining pool just makes it so that you get a steadier payout, where if you were mining by yourself, like without a pool, you might not get any coins for even years of running a CPU miner. So you'll definitely want to sign up for a pool. Um, when you've signed up, it's going to give you some information down here. Uh, I just actually clicked on uh, my account there. So if we were at slush... Um, if you just click on my account there after you've signed up, uh, then that's the page I'm on here. And I just scroll down so you don't see all my information, but you see this. Um, these are the uh, are the different miners that I have set up. Um, this one is my uh, video card miner. This is the one I'm going to be using in this... Uh, um, that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, this guest one. So if you want to try out yours, your miner, before you even set up anything on Slush or anything, just see if it's working, then you can use these credentials exactly how I have them, and then it'll just mine on my account, and that's fine. Like, it doesn't affect anything. So if you want to check it out to see if the problem is on your end or how you set up anything, just use exactly what I have set up, and I can even let you know. Uh, like, if you message me and ask me if it's showing up on my end, I can message you back and let you know uh, just with these credentials right here and that's what I'm going to be using. So uh, what you're going to need is a program called RPC Miner. If you just go to Google type in RPC Miner uh, then it should be uh, like there's this site here that's uh, en.bitcoin.it that has a lot of information about Bitcoin. It'll give you a download link at the bottom here for Bitcoin RPC Miner. I will put that link in the uh, in the description as well, but if it ever breaks, then you can go here and find an updated one for it. And you're going to want the mining client bi binaries for Windows. So you just click there, and then it's going to bring you to Mediafire to download it, and you just hit download there. Once it's downloaded, you're going to have a zip file just like this one, and you're just going to need to extract that uh, with 7-zip, with whatever, doesn't really matter. Uh, once it's extracted, then you're going to get a folder that it looks just like this, that has this stuff in it, and you're not really going to know where to go from there. Uh, the big thing is that you're, you'll are you want to look through the README. That might be a little confusing, but I'll show you how to use this. Um, really what you care about is the um, remote miner client arguments here. And uh, the, or sorry, the RPC miner client uh, here. This is what you care about. Uh, these are the commands that we're going to be using, like the URL tells it which host to connect to, and we're going to be using Slush's pool, so that's why we're going to put in Slush's information right here. And this is the port that uh, pretty much all mining runs on. Uh, the username is going to be that pascal 4 ones and a 0 dot guest. Uh, the password is going to be guest, like I set up in, online in Slush's pool. Uh, threads is the number of cores that your processor has. So mine is a quad-core processor, so you're going to want to set that up to four. And then work refresh milliseconds, that doesn't really matter. I set it lower so I can have it refresh a bit faster, but it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so now what you're going to need to do 
is open a command prompt on your computer. This part might be a little confusing to you, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. Um, all you're going to have to do is hit the start button, and if you have Windows 7, uh, then just type in CMD, and right-click on cmd.exe, and run as administrator. If you have uh, the... Um, if you have Windows XP, then you're going to need to go to Run, which will be down here somewhere. If I type in Run, I'll bring it up, uh, where you get this little window. And here you'll just need to type in cmd.exe. Or actually, sorry, you just need to type in cmd. And it'll bring up that command prompt. So um, Then when you have the this black box here, what you're going to want to do is hit cd space dot dot, and then hit the up arrow so it brings it up again and hit enter again that just is going to bring you back to your C drive so that we can get to these files here uh, like this is your directory structure it's all kind of confusing if you don't know what's going on but just do it exactly how I have it just keep hitting, typing CD dot dot until you only have this here then uh, you're gonna want to go into that folder where you have everything like where the actual RPC miner thing is where you extracted it go into that folder and this path at the top is what you're going to want to uh, put into here to go to. So uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it with Control C, and then go to this black thing and type in paste. And actually, you're going to need the uh, you're going to need to type in CD before the path. CD before the path. CD sends you to that certain path. So um, and since we're already at C, we're just going to delete that part. So this will bring me, I'm sorry about my username here, it's very long, <laughs> uh, there's reasons for that. Um, so uh, when you do this, it's going to bring you to this folder in this uh, black window here. So if you just hit enter, now you can see that the path has changed to what this is. So now I'm kind of in the folder, and if you want to double check that you're in it in the right place, uh, you can just type in DIR, and it'll list all of the files that are in the folder and you can see that it lists everything that is in this folder that's right here. So then for the CPU miner you're gonna need this RPC miner CPU.exe that's what we're gonna run and since we're already in that folder we can just type in RPC miner um, dash CPU.exe and I will uh, Oh, I'm sorry, put an extra letter. I will put this whole command into the description, so you could just copy and paste it if you want. That'd make it a lot easier. But um, then, what you're going to need to do is go to the README, or just copy all this stuff that I'm going to put on here right from the uh, right from the internet to try it out. Uh, you're going to need to put this URL command after it, after the RPC miner CPU.exe. Basically, that CPU.exe that starts the actual program. And then these commands will tell it information, like kind of pass information to it for it to use. So I'm going to paste that here. And the uh, this URL is actually on the front page of, uh, of Slush's pool right here. What you're going to need to use is this HTTP, HTTP colon slash slash API dot Bitcoin dot CZ colon 8332. That's what you're going to need to type in there. If you use a different pool than slush, then they would have a different address. So make sure you type in the one for the pool that you're going to use. That's easy. OK. Um, so that's the URL. And then the next thing that we need to type in is the username. That one's going to be the Pascal, four ones and a zero, and then guest. If you, like When you set up yours, you're going to have something different than that uh, that's specific to your pool account. Guest. And then the password for that is also guest. Um, so the, the the password command, we'll just paste that in. And the password I set up as guest. And then number of threads. I have a quad core processor and uh, Technically, with hyper-threading, there's more cores and stuff like that, but uh, the way I've always heard to do it is put it in that number is how many cores your CPU actually has. So if it's a dual-core processor, you put two. Quad-core processor, you put four. If it's a single-core, you just put one. Um, and then uh, 
and work refresh milliseconds, you don't really need this one, but I like it to update a little faster than every four seconds, so I'm going to set that to just 100 milliseconds rather than 4,000. So then when I hit enter, it's going to give me some uh, information right here, and like this is the block that it's starting on, and it's actually just going to start updating here in a second. This is the hash rate of my processor, which is 3.188 mega hashes, which is actually not bad. Uh, a, I also have a GT650 video card in here, and that's I get about 18.5 mega hashes for that. So the the video card's quite a bit faster, but for a processor like 4.7 mega hashes, it's really not bad. Uh, if you are getting messages like this. Like if I, I just deleted the T off the guest there, uh, so I basically put in the wrong password and it's giving me this message, then you should check your information to make sure that you put in the, your right username and your right password. Uh, and to end the process, you can just uh, hit X there or I just hit Control C to stop it. But um, that's, you can see it failed that time because I changed password from guest to, I just took off the T. So if I put that T back, then it'll start getting work from the server and then it'll keep running. And that's that's all there is to it. You can just leave it like that uh, on um, on your in, on Slush's pool on their website in my account. It'll show you how fast you're mining according to them because these numbers aren't entirely accurate. Like this is how fast your computer is going, but you're still like working on shares and it's a little bit confusing, but the actual number of how fast you're going will be on Slush's pool uh, information. And that should be all you need. Uh, if you have any messages, uh, any questions at all, you can just message me and uh, you can, I'll put my hash in the bottom to donate to. So if you ever want to try out a transaction and uh, you want to just donate even a teeny bit to me and but you want to make sure that it went through, you can just message me and ask, hey, did you receive this much from this address and I'll let you know so you can be sure that your uh, your sending payments are going through and everything so um, I hope you uh, manage to mine lots of bitcoins and that this all works out for you